Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about trainee pharmacist jobs in UAE. So, I will be going over uh, these points which I am mentioning here. So, we will be going on these one by one and I will explain in details. Okay. So, number one is the eligibility criteria. So, if you are a B-Farm graduate, M-Farm or Farm D, you are eligible to apply as a trainee pharmacist in UAE. And uh, that is your basic uh, criteria, the basic education which you need to work here. And sometimes I have seen some organizations keeping age limit like up to 28 years old, you are eligible to apply as a trainee pharmacist. Now, one of the best thing about trainee pharmacist is that you don't need a DHA license or MOH license or heart license to work as a trainee pharmacist in UAE. So coming to the exam and experience, see by legally or by law, in order to work as a trainee pharmacist in UAE, you need a trainee pharmacist uh, license. So what happens is usually retail organizations like retail pharmacies or chain pharmacies, these are the organizations that are giving opportunities or recruiting pharmacists as trainee pharmacists. So some organization will help you in getting a DHA trainee pharmacist license. But in some organization, this opportunity is not available. So make sure whichever organization you're applying, they should provide you the support to get registered as a DHA trainee pharmacist. Once you get registered as DHA trainee pharmacist or MOH trainee pharmacist, your experience will be count from uh, that day onwards. So basically after two years of training, you will be eligible to write the examination and uh, your data, get your data flow done and you can officially work as a licensed pharmacist. I hope this is clear. And uh, regarding the experience, you will need a basic experience uh, from your home country where you're working as a pharmacist in hospital or community settings. And examination, there is no examination for a trainee pharmacist. Uh, but once your training period is over, you will need to write an exam to get registered as a pharmacist. Organizations, when I talk about organizations, uh, this is more of a like you won't find hospitals giving this opportunity to work as a trainee pharmacist or trainee clinical pharmacist there is nothing like that usually even if it is there uh, locals are preferred like emirates are preferred for that uh, particular role and uh, retail pharmacies and chain pharmacies offer this opportunity to work as trainee pharmacist in their uh, retail shops or retail pharmacies and coming to the skills which you require basically in job interviews they assess your communication skills how you will be able to communicate to different patients or customers this work nature is more like um, sales oriented so you will be promoting uh, wellness supplements and products and uh, you will be learning like uh, how to do customer service you have be learning communication skills you will be learning about different wellness products, nutritional supplements and even medications. You will also get an idea about how insurance is working in UAE and all basic, uh, all that basic knowledge you will get. Next are the downsides or disadvantages. So there are various uh, people who are quitting this job and there are people who are also regretting this uh, choice of coming as a trainee pharmacist because you are you have already gone through your four year five uh, four or five year pharmacy course and you have two years of uh, like you're having one or two years of experience and you don't uh, you will feel sad actually when you compare yourself with a already licensed pharmacist because in a retail pharmacy you both will be doing uh, same duties except that you won't be allowed to dispense medications so sometimes this will cause a kind of uh, like that sadness in your heart so and even the uh, attitude and uh, how people see you will be different because you are still in a trainee role this might affect some people and for some people that's fine and more you will be learning about how to push sales because it's more about sales and marketing in retail pharmacies even though if there is medications also and sometimes the shift is too much long hours of shift is there long hours of uh, standing work 
and uh, sometimes you will have to even work in public holidays and sometimes you won't get a week off and sometimes there are events where there is an off and you will need to go and attend a training so there are so many some issues which is uh, which are faced by some uh, people who are uh, working here as trainee pharmacists but not in all organizations in some organizations this has been reported and for some people that is fine they survive all through this and they get their DHA or MOH done and they become a registered pharmacist so if you're really willing or if you really wish to come here and get a job as a trainee pharmacist make sure you do all your research try to find people in LinkedIn who has become a registered pharmacist through this path where they came they became a trainee pharmacist and then they uh, got registered as a a licensed pharmacist make sure you interact with these people find these people in LinkedIn talk with them and uh, then make a wise decision and my personal opinion would be that it's better to get your two years uh, of pharmacy done in your home country two years of pharmacist experience in community or hospital settings complete the two years uh, write the examination and get the data flow done and come here as a uh, DHA, MOH or HAD uh, registered pharmacist with your eligibility letter or evaluation letter then come here and find a job as a pharmacist. This would be the ideal option which I uh, would uh, recommend or suggest and if you are confused with what is DHA, MOH, <laughs> DOH or HAD, it's not HAD anymore it is DOH. So UAE is United Arab Emirates which is composed of seven different Emirates. So one of the Emirates is Dubai uh, and the others are like Sharjah, Ajman and Abu Dhabi, Ras Al Khaima, Umm Al Khwain and all that. So that's the map here. So basically DHA is only for Dubai and MOH is except Dubai and Abu Dhabi all other Emirates uh, you will need to write MOH and uh, DOH or previously known as HAD is for Abu Dhabi. So I hope this uh, video regarding trainee pharmacist was informative to one and all. So make sure you take the wise decision uh, of coming here and working as a trainee pharmacist. And there are enough opportunities here but mostly offered by retail pharmacies and chain pharmacies. And that's all. Uh, <laughs> that's all in this video i hope this was informative so share it with your friends whoever is wishing to come here to work in middle east like work in uae particularly and uh, thanks for watching this video have a nice day ahead bye